back to Beautiful Mind, where we're going to discuss Bitcoin from its beginning to its present. And we're going to discuss using all our indicators, our tools, and our monthly counts and percentage levels, laying out sensible and logical explanations, determining possible outcomes for Bitcoin. Before we dive into our recap, I'm going to take a few minutes here or a moment to thank all my most valuable viewers. Now, if you have subscribed to my channel and I don't mention you, it's because your profile is hidden from the analytics on YouTube and I'm unable to see your name. So if you feel that I've missed your name and you weren't mentioned, then... Uh, Please hit me up, leave a comment down below that you're my most valuable viewer, you're a subscriber, you think the content is beneficial, and I'm going to mention you on the YouTube airways here on Beautiful Mind. So subscribers that I do have that have shown their public profile is Kevin Parker. Right on, Kevin. Dijan Tasik. Right on, Dijan. Brad Watts, right on, Big Brad. Got you on board. Anthony Fierro, thank you, Anthony. Gavin Romaninsky, right on, Gavin. Mike Calvert, right on, Mike. Right on. Christine Moon, you betcha. We got you, Christine. Thank you. Oak Yoon Tak, thank you for your viewing. Appreciate it. Nolan Gamble. That's right, a fellow Tiger Bar and a true Chow Lean. Thank you very much. And also Tara Kochi, thank you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you all viewing. You're very valuable to me. So please share this knowledge with your friends, your family, your colleagues. Tear it to pieces. Let's just become family here. Let's get together and let's determine the outcome and let's have some safe trading let's have some profitable trading and let's all get really well acquainted with this very disruptive technology all right so quick recap we have three month moves here and typically they go up about 1900 percent further up we're going to notice we have diminishing returns a bit so cumulatively, this made 5,500%. It's possible we could see that in the future. Now, we've also been held by our rings. Our rings have been a very good indicator to hold us at bay after our three-month pop-off. And you're going to see this many times. This is a reoccurring phenomena. The numbers, the monthly moves, it's all reoccurring. We're just going to track it. And we're going to see if it does reoccur in our present moment. So from our top, we had moves of 93%. And those were some really, really big moves down there. And there were four and five months. Again, our average is 12 months. So we, we need to watch out for that, 84%. And we have these other last you know, buying areas before we have these pop-offs, as well as our 15-month area. You know, and things start to get a last swing low and get crazy. After 20 months, we had a breakout. We just came up and pierced this ring, got a little bit of ejection here, and then sat on it and blasted through. Again, folks, three months, 1,800% up with some really weird three- and six-month maneuvers back with an 80% and 72% maneuvers here. And then once we had finished that and sat on now our trend line which is a really wonderful trend line and we're going to be talking about these trend lines moving forward so there again folks here we go here's your next three month fast move up this time only 1300 percent so diminishing returns so from there pierced through that ring and we had just this big bear market you know, it just destroyed everybody. I don't think anyone would want to buy Bitcoin after that. But, you know, after two months, you know, we had a 62 cent pullback. 
And after four and eight months, 70%. You know, and we could certainly have a lot of those same things happen. Now, after 13 months, we were down 84%. After 20 months, 82 or 83%. And 27 months here, we were down 63%. Before we gained a whole bunch of strength, came up and rested by this ring here, just held right here perfectly. And we gained some muscle, and from there, we moved up. So recapping this quickly. Again, so we had three months up. Okay, of a really, really, really fast move. But it's only 580%. So diminishing returns again, folks. And then again, here's our seven months here up. Well, we have 1,700%, but we have double the time frame and 1,700%. So we do have some diminishing returns. The time frames are growing. So we need to be mindful of these things. And there again, folks, here we go. Our two months moved down of 71%. And four to eight months, again, another 70%. And then we got a, just a fake out and we just broke down in our 12, 13, and 14 months. We had a 84% move back. And then from there, we had our 20 month fake out breakout, our dead cat bounce. And again, this is three months right here. And in this is about 500% here. So, you know, that was a big fake out. You know, again, we got to watch out for the stuff. And we're going to do all of this because we have awesome indicators. So after that happened and our fake out breakout, we had this great move back here and settled down before getting another fake out. And we talked about these fake outs again with our indicators. We're gonna talk about those. And we came back right into our bullseye to the dollar. And we now sat on this new trend line here, which is our new red trend line. And this one is holding us. So from there, we we gained a bunch of strength and we moved up here. And what did we do? Well, we did a seven month move up out of there of about 500% and a cumulative 20 and 13 months of 16 and 1700%. And I want to note that I've updated this, that the three months that we typically have fast moves, we've seen a major diminishing return of 120 percent it's not even it's a quarter of this like not even like so it's terrible you know it's really bad really bad so we're bitcoin has been proving that uh, you know a lot of steam has been removed from it the, the the vibration and the frequency the energy it's diminishing so after our our tops of 16 and 1700 percent here we noted as well i wanted to update that we had 28 months to our first top of 1900 percent and 35 months up from our second top now wh where are these counts from well these counts are from you know back here right back here so we're going to carry these 28 and 35 and 20 into the future I haven't updated the 35 on our future, but we'll do that in a future tutorial here. So for now, we've had our two months fast move down, you know, it was 53%. Didn't really tell us that uh, the bull market was uh, still gonna carry on. 50% is always a safe place to buy or sell stocks and commodities. It's just one of those magical numbers. It's a Fibonacci number. It's on our trend line coming back here, just barely. But we held there, and we had, again, our fast move up here. And this one, you know, not very big. You know, how much did we go up there? Well, let's take a look at that, folks. You know, from there, we, uh, what did we move up there? You know? Geez, that's not much. It's like saying 70% or something. 
that's not that great. That's diminishing returns. And then from there, folks, we flipped over and look at us. You know, we've we've come down our 63 percent here. And we've got our 13, 14, and 15 months. And I want to note something with you that uh, I meant to put out this tutorial at the beginning of June. I got really busy with an insurance job. Really wonderful client. They were going through some major stuff. And I just, I couldn't leave to update these tutorials. So my apologies for that. So please disregard the 6th, 12th of these dates for possible moves down. You can just double check on the daily chart if they're correct or in the vicinity of what we're talking about. I'm also discussing that it's possible we could have another move down on the 27th of June. Is that going to happen? Not necessarily, but it's certainly possible. We're going to pay attention to this stuff because this stuff is important. We're also moving into our 15th month, which is July. And we've seen 15 months before. And I'm stating that it's possible that around the 25th to the 30th, and there's a lot of astrological confluence and some other esoteric tools that I use to determine these things. And I will bring these to light later on in future tutorials. They're pretty heavy duty, but we're going to bring them to light. You know, if people uh, are enjoying the content and find it truthful and beneficial, then uh, like and let me know you want to see more of the tools that I use to determine the movements of this phenomena, this very disruptive technology. All right, so from there, folks, you know, we've we've moved down to a few of our targets, you know, 19,000. We've we've even pushed down to 17,000, you know, 500. We, uh, we had a little blip there. We haven't rested yet on uh, our trend line or our Fibonacci circle or ring. Is that going to happen? Well, it's possible. It's not necessarily going to happen. I think we're in for a little bit of a dead cat bounce here or sucker rally before we resume our downward maneuver. Now, where do I think that we should be going up to? Well, we have a very celebrated July holiday coming up, and uh, it's possible we could have a dead cat bounce into that. It could be a very convincing dead cat bounce where the moon boys get on board and tell you that Bitcoin is uh, making a move of a lifetime and we've hit this red line. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. And folks, this could be true, but we said many times that our indicators, and here's our trusty indicators. I love these indicators. These are awesome indicators and they save you every time, every single time. So our RSI, our relative strength indicator, we haven't quite sat down, but we are about to, and we're about to maybe go sideways. Are we going to continue down? It's possible if we get some more really bad news in the market. It's very likely we could, but I think we may have a little blip up. Will we get these golden crosses for these? It's possible we could see some of these but we really want to see these indicators in my previous tutorials with you we were discussing they have to stay under for several months and possibly revisit these areas excuse me so what's it saying to us well our indicators are saying lower top deep red bars we're below our median line, lower top, death cross, lower top, death cross, our blue line's below. Now we're below our median line. It's getting into some pretty shaky territory. RSI, lower top, lower top, triple lower top. We're going to possible to move under, stay under, or go sideways here. Is it a buying opportunity? It's possible but not until our indicators have flipped over and done golden crosses and they have all unanimously together told us that it's the safest time to buy, then we're going to pay attention, we're going to buy. And we're not interested in all this fake out. So we're going to pay attention to when we get a golden cross like this, that we're going to be careful of any dead cat bounces. We don't want 
to mess around. We're going to pay attention to our indicators. It's very, very, very important that we pay attention to these. These are what save you from emotional problems. And the fact that you cannot trade and sell your asset in time with emotion. So we need to use mechanical indicators. We need to use mathematical indicators. We must, folks. We have to. So just a quick recap on our on our indicators, we're interested in golden crosses. That's when the blue line moves above the red line. Our RSI moves up, gets very active. That's what we're interested in. And these blue bars indicating that the buyers are back and that the sellers have left. That's what we're interested in. If that's not seen here on Beautiful Mind, there will be no way that I will be even close to seeing that it should be a buy. So let's just pay attention to all of this stuff. All right, so we're going to zoom in. We're going to have a look at uh, Bitcoin a little bit on uh, some different uh, different time frames. So on the weekly chart here, what do our indicators say? Well, still low, still death cross, death cross, staying below, R size down, I'm below, lower tops, lower tops, lower tops. You know, all the check marks for bad news bears, folks. I know it's bad news, but that's why you're here because uh, you're getting the truth. You know, it's not sugar coated. Now it's possible we were talking about having a dead cat bounce or a bear market rally, in which case we would have a major turnaround, and we would possibly see, possibly. Dead cat bounce. Now, what would that look like? Well, on the daily chart here, look at our indicators. Our indicators are stating that, uh, well, without a golden cross here, buyers have stepped in. We're up against our major red line. Holy smokes. And look, we've got another golden cross here. What's our RSI telling us here? Huh. RSI is uh, looking left on that line here. It's bottomed out at the same line is it an opportunity of a lifetime right now it's possible you know but just be very guarded folks don't leverage yourself in the wrong way use these indicators they're very powerful you see why i'm using them this is why i mention these things so as we zoom in you can see that the indicators are going to continue to follow us and they're telling us that on the four hour chart it's Looking like the buyers are about to leave and we could have a death cross here. So, you know, and looking left here on our RSI, we're getting up to the top here of this old band. So is that uh, is that telling us something? Are, are, are we being told that uh, it's possible that uh, we're going to have another turnaround here and a pullback to this blue line here at 12 and 13,000 and follow this trajectory? It's possible, you know, the 22nd to the 27th. And I'm calling for the 27th for another possible move down. Is that going to happen? Not necessarily, but here on Beautiful Mind, we're very mindful of uh, a dead cat bounce and the fake out takeout. We're, uh, we're very aware of this. All right, so moving on down. So we're probably going to get already our crossovers. We've had seven fake outs now look at this folks you have to look at this stuff you have to spend a few minutes and you just have to zoom in on it and look at it all so we're about to have some dead crosses again here we're approaching this red line on the one hour chart looking left at our indicators here on rsi is topping out is there still room to move up yes there is certainly we could come up and we can rest on this red line here this is our channel we've talked about this here's our other blue line coming down from our top this red line coming from our bottom so we have a confluence point here we could see some resistance here it's very likely so from one hour chart let's zoom in further folks and let's just take a look we're going to go take a look now 30 minute chart is starting to show that uh we're getting some mixed signals. The uh, buyers have left. The sellers have started to step in a bit, and uh, it's possibly getting to the point where we're uh, we're in need of uh, going short. 
looks like looking left here the RSI is topped out so it's possible and likely that uh, a change can happen maybe a little bit more of a pullback before we move up and retest these uh, upper bands 15 minute chart yeah lower tops lower tops lower tops lower tops death crosses death crosses sellers have stepped back in folks you know it just it getting ugly, you know. So what's the five minutes saying? Well, let's zoom in and we're gonna get down to the minute chart. Well, we've had lower tops, lower tops, death crosses. The sellers are stepping in on the five minute chart. Our size turned down, lower tops. You know, it's possible that they're gonna come down now. So zooming into the minute chart now. Let's uh let's take a look at what this uh Wiley E. Coyote is going to show us here. If I can bring it back up to the top for you folks here. Come on. Up you come. So on the minute chart here, folks, you know, looking at this asset. Uh, come on. <laughs> really playing around with us here today, isn't it? So... The one minute chart, we zoomed right in on the micro level. We're starting to make golden crosses here on our stochastics, our MACD. Looks like the sellers have started to leave on the minute chart. Looking left on our RSI, we're bottoming around the same areas over the several hours here. Could have a little dead cap bounce here, probably on an angle coming down so somewhere about here if you like this trading style and you would like to see more trading ideas from the macro view from the 12 years out and zoomed into the one minute chart stay tuned like subscribe leave a comment really helps this channel i really would like to get this material out to you and uh, i'm also going to be promoting a couple other channels here one that I really like is Optical Arts. Optical Arts is uh, doing a fantastic job. He's doing a fantastic job. Really good. Go take a look at Optical Arts. His mathematical approach is really good. It's something that I feel is beneficial. I really enjoy it. So make sure you go check that out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Thank you for joining Beautiful Mind as we discuss Bitcoin in its totality. You have a lovely day, folks.